Have you ever seen a mayor that uses YouTube videos and brings them to her official meetings to where there's a, you know, quote unquote quorum happening? Um, have you ever seen a mayor bring a YouTube video and start to debunk the rumors that are told about her? It's, it's the craziest thing ever. Have you ever seen that? Well, I have, and I am here to happily share that with, with all the rest of you guys. We got the super mayor, not just regular mayor. We got super mayor Tiffany Henyard out here, and she's debunking the rumors, the fake news that WGN is out here spreading because we don't like fake news in America. We we have enough of it. We don't like the fake news. So Tiffany Henyard put together a little PowerPoint presentation to to you know to falsify the rumors that have been going around about her, including and specifically the hundred and something thousand dollars she spent on her little Taste of Thornton event when she had Kiki Wyatt and all these other people come out and perform. But anyways, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Let's go ahead and check out this little Thornton Township meeting and see what Tiffany Henyard's all about because, man, she is on a rampage today. She, she's, she's losing it, folks. Let's go ahead and check this out. We're basically in the area where Tiffany Henyard wants to get certain bills passed. Do you know that... In the past, she's trying to get her little fraudulent big bingo passed. She's trying to get all her little tech things passed for the seniors. She's trying to pass a bunch of things. And when they deny it, she goes into bully mode. But check this little part out to where she really takes up a good 30 minutes of the meeting just bitching about the things that they won't pay for. What's the items? Because we don't know what it is that you don't want to pass. You want to tell us what it is, or you just want to make motions on numbers that nobody knows what you're not paying? Trustee? Why can't you read it into record? Because you, you're mimicking uh, another Mr. County, right? They read every item into the record. Every item that they take off, they read into the record. No, you should read it because you the one want to remove it. You the one that don't want to pay certain individuals, whoever that is, because I don't even know what you're removing. So what are you removing so we all will know for the record what you don't want to pay? So what are, what are those items? We would like to and she doesn't get her to fold. She she ends up sounding like a fucking moron, and I think she kind of catches up on that. So she she pa she passes it on to good old Robert Hunt to read because, you know, she tells him what to do. She's like her little puppy. Robert, go up there. Robert, read out the list. Begin, Robert. Begin. That's how she talks to him. You know how you're alpha over your dog and you give your dog commands? You know? That's how she talks to him, like her dog. Robert, come. Robert, sit. Robert, stay. You know what I'm saying? It's the same. It's the same thing. And she barks at her boy Robert. But anyways, he goes ahead and stumbles through all these bills. I'm gonna play like 30 seconds of it. One Calumet Bakery, $47.40. Senior Home Bingo Cake. 82 Calumet Bakery, $47.40. Senior Home Bingo Cake. 83 Calumet Bakery, $66. Thorn uh, Township Senior Home. Bakery, this is at the countryside senior home. 84 Calumet Bakery, uh, senior home, bingo cake, um, treat. You get it right. It's a lot of bingo related shit. You know what I'm saying? But he goes on for another 25 minutes. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, go to Critical Smoker and watch the whole 25 minutes of nonsense. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and skip forward. And I mean, he's up there for a long time. Like he's up there for a good and he's not fumbling and stumbling either. He's just reading along, just reading through. God bless Robert's soul. Robert, you need a raise for the bullshit you deal with, brother. You deserve something, man, this shit. But sadly, she's going to be in jail and not be able to take care of you. She's probably going to send you, throw you under the bus more than likely. So, hey, just saying, just another brother over here trying to look out for you, big dog. It's not looking good over there.
But let's move on. She goes back into bully mode. You know, she's like, okay, these are all the things that you won't pass. Why? So with that being said, the events or things that they just stated, you know, a lot of them was senior homes that they spoke of, that they don't want to pay for the food or the cakes or the things that they had. Um, they had back to school events uh, as it related to the book bags for the youth. They don't want to pay for that. Uh, taste the authority. This is something that the board of trustees voted for. They voted to pay the entertainment and everything else. If you go check the minutes or pull the invoices, you will see that they agreed. And now all of a sudden, they don't want to pay for things. Um, also, student workers, people that came and did work here, you shall always, always uh, take care of the youth and show them your appreciation for the things that they actually do. So she just um, basically reads over it again. Ma'am, Robert just read it and everybody said no. So what are we really doing? We just we're watching someone just cry about it. You know what you you know when they say cry about it, like pfft, kick rocks, cry about it. That's what she decided to do. So go ahead, call the room. So I have votes and yes, we can say vote. something. Um I actually did do my research. I did call Township of Illinois and ask them um, about this and they said as long as there is no budget passed that you do not have the authorization to do what you want with GA. If there was a budget passed, you absolutely could do. But I did um, call Township and they said that you cannot due to there not being a passed budget. Okay, and that's not true, so we gonna move the court because I can go back and forth and tell you what they told me and go there and go there. So we just gonna keep moving. You guys say y'all taking it out and y'all see what happens when I do. I call. Y'all see what happens when I do it. That's the tyrant right there, folks. Classic tyrant. Now I wanted to point this little section out real quick because um, this is what this is Tiffany's defense response right here. She's gonna go ahead and tell you that you're wrong tell you that you don't understand, tell you that you're not educated. She's going to tell you to go around and understand that information. And then what happened? Trusty Carlisle, the one who used to support her, bro. It's crazy. This used to be someone you smiled with, big smiles, showing them big, wide teeth, wide ass mouth, big ass mouth, made for fucking talking, built to fucking talk shit. I swear to God. Anyways, I'm getting carried away. Um, Carlisle literally proves to her what she's saying is bullshit. And what is she saying? That's not true. Now, moving on. Guys, come on, bro. We can't, we can't, we can't. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, bro. We can't have a fucking moron in a position of power like this. <laughs> what she said was wrong. Anyways, moving on. It's like a fucking four-year-old. Now, let's increase it. It's like a 12-year-old, bro. Let's move on as fast as we can because the truth is peeking its head out. Anyways, moving forward, I wanted to even point out the, the, the smaller things too. You know, things that we make fun of, even her lawyer, the one who died about six months ago, you know, the one who's just standing there and they mummified him and made him look like he's real. Guess what? He came back to life today because even he had to tell Hanyard, hey, hold on, hold on now, hold on now. We can't have a roll call until everybody gets their say. Like, even the lawyer is telling her to pat the brakes a little bit, crazy lady. Check this out. Go there, go there. So we're just going to keep moving. You guys say y'all taking it out, and y'all see what happens when I do. All right, call the room. We, we can't have a roll call yet. We currently have a motion by Trustee Carlisle to approve the GA fund, not including items 42 and, was there another one? Is that talking over him she she got something passed you know but she's still mad talking over her lawyer talking over everybody listen i really want to know what communication is like between her and her lawyer because that shit is crazy you sooner or later you're gonna see the lawyer turn against tenured no, I don't think you could do that with client attorney privilege. But still, if he could, he probably would. This lady is, you can't work with her, bro. So now we move on to a big point. It's Super Mayor Tiffany Henyard and her name being attached to a lot of the credit cards. And um, clearly she doesn't want this. So we're going to go ahead and see what she has to say. Um, but mainly it's because of accountability. You know, after this, everybody will be able to see what she's doing. And she goes on a rampage over this shit. Hold on, let's give give us a moment here. Put one here that uh, again. I don't know why y'all took y'all took Robert out there. Now y'all put 
the supervisor to have a credit card. And I think I told y'all, I made myself crystal clear at the last meeting that I do not or will not accept any credit card. Uh, as being the supervisor, I never had a credit card ever. So why would you want to give me a card now? That's a it's hilarious, right? Why don't you want a super, Why don't you want a credit card, sweetie? Well, what's the problem? You don't you don't want the you don't want a credit card to have accountability for like what you spend on? Like what what's the problem? I don't get it. No, she wants apartment head by apartment head to have a credit card so that she could go ahead and dip her hands into whatever pot she needs to dip her hands into. It's not going to happen no more. Another big red flag. And then why wouldn't you give it to the staff? Because they actually run the day-to-day -day operation. That's checks and balances, that's accountability, that's transparency. Because when they go back up, you know, hey, uh, Bob about this. Uh, bro, that would literally be like 15 different credit cards. That makes zero sense, brother. Her way of doing things was to make things as difficult as possible for us to keep track of. Now that it's just the mayor, I mean, we just go to you. We check your credit card. What's the problem? What's the problem? What's the issue? Y'all tell me. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I misunderstood. But I would say that's a positive thing for the city, right? I guess not. That's how you, you do it. When there was one credit card, when I got here, that's what all the theft was. They were still. And I told the news, I told y'all, I told everybody. But nobody wanted to read or say anything about the stories about the theft that was here for a township prior to me. So when I got here, we cleaned it up. We made sure that every department had a credit card. So when they all had a credit card, their names are on the card. That means you're responsible for the card. Now, they wrote this order. In front of again, being a spiteful again, they wrote the orders and put only my, my name on it to have a car. I don't go to no grocery stores and run around and go shopping for a department. It's up to them to figure out what they need for their department. Go get it, make sure they get to the resident, the resident have what they need. Now, another thing which I know Robert Hunt told y'all, and I hope the Lord has told y'all, is illegal. Now she's trying to use God. She always do that shit too. Oh, the Lord is, the God don't like ugly. A bunch of demons around here. The devil just taking over all y'all minds. And and the woo, she better she needs a handkerchief and start wiping her fucking forehead like a deacon. Start preaching, Tiff, because that's what you want to do. Start preaching. Preach to us. Don't be a mayor. Maybe you should leave that position and go be a preacher. Maybe you could con people in your congregation. Congregation? Shit. I just put those two together. That's crazy. That would be her congregation right there. Please, the fuck are you talking about? To give uh, out a card that's in my name to anybody. That's like you go to the grocery store and you got uh, Sarah's card in your hand, but you're not Sarah. That's called theft. So when they lock you up for stealing, how you mad? You got somebody else's card in your hand. But the board wrote a law that's right here in front of us that says give the card to the supervisor. Have the supervisor's name on it, and the supervisor should give the card out to everybody to go shop. You know why? Because that's accountability. That means everybody that you, that means everything that is bought, which is how it should have been. That means everything that is purchased, you better know about, you better know about it. And you better talk to that department head and get that understood before that credit card goes out and purchases what it purchases. You don't like that shit, do you? See that system of different department heads and 20 different fucking credit cards? That system worked very well to conceal certain things. It just makes sense, bro. I mean, you have all these statements. You have that statement. You have this statement over here. You have that card that may have canceled and that statement underneath that statement. You could do a whole bunch of fuckery like that, especially if you're the problem. You know what I'm saying? And there's all these cards that go around for you. Come on now. Come on, I, come on bro. She is so mad about this shit. Ooh, ooh. How they said, oh, we. She is mad. Steaming. That makes sense. And I told them, and I asked them, and I told them to fix it. I told them to change it. I told them to give it back to the department heads because they will be responsible for their department like they was in the past. And they didn't but do it. No one fixed it. They still want to come here and vote on something that's illegal. And now she's going to say it's illegal. Hey, it's been some months now. I ain't seen nobody get arrested for it yet. We'll see, though. Standing for the record, Clark. Make sure it's in the minutes. This is illegal. And we told them that, and they still sit here and put this law together. Just because you can make laws don't make it right. But when you make the law, make sure it is the, the law, like the truth. 
But you put in here again, supervisor, supervisor. That doesn't even make any fucking sense. What? Back that up, folks. Really, really break down what you just said. Honestly, break. I'm not being an asshole. Break down to tell me in the comments. Explain to me what she just said. Hold on now. Clark, make sure in the minutes. This is illegal. Uh -huh. We told them that, and they still sit here and put this law together. Just because you can make laws. Okay, this one. Just because you can make laws doesn't mean that you should make them. And if you are going to make them, at least make them the laws. That's what she said. Hold on. Let's see it. Let's see and it. We told them that, and they still sit here and put this law together. Just because you can make laws don't make it right. But when you make the law, make sure it is the, the law. Like just because you can make a law doesn't make it right. But just make sure when you make that law, make sure it is the law. Bro, you could give somebody a stroke with that type of logic. You short, short circuit some shit. You tell somebody that shit. You, what the fuck does that mean? True. But you put in here again, supervisor, supervisor. My name all over this. I don't see Robert Hunt's name ain't in it no more before. It was Robert Hunt and Tiffany. And I told y'all that was bogus because Robert Hunt is a CPA. Y'all got a CPA that make all that money running around going to the stove, y'all. His job is numbers. He has a degree. He has a CPA. He's supposed to be in here doing... Okay, so she tries to get all preachy again. She tries to rile up the crowd, but the crowd ain't riling. But anyways, to, our, to my favorite fucking part, guys. This is my favorite part. This is my favorite okay. part. This this is like probably out of all the coverage we've done from Tiffany Henyard. This excites me because one of these days I want to see my face in the Thornton Township meeting too. Please, or at least throw Hannibal up there. I'll be happy. I'll feel represented if Hannibal gets posted. Super Mayor Tiffany Henyard pulls out the WGN coverage. Now, I know all of you guys saw the WGN coverage. Um, I'm not even going to show it. You know... It's basically like she uses hundreds of thousand dollars to throw that event that nobody showed up to. We all covered this, right? Tiffany goes and plays that video in the meeting, brother. I'm not lying to you. I wouldn't lie. She plays that meeting and attempts to debunk it mid-meeting. So I'm just going to let it play. I'm not even going to say too much, bro. This shit is comedy. It's top-tier level comedy. I didn't think she could really do much this meeting. I didn't think she could really do something that would bust me up too much, but holy shit, I was laughing. Check this shit out, y'all. Let me know you're ready, man. So y'all know I love making videos. They, they have no time to complete the video, but when fake news report videos, and yeah, it was a live being, with you being, I don't know if you behind that camera, live being, uh, made a report uh, yesterday about Thor Township, and this is how obsessed they are with your supervisor slash superman, right? They made a report about Thor Township about the taste of Thor. As I stated to y'all before, the taste of Thor was voted on by the Board of Trustees, was approved uh, expenditures. But they didn't report any of that, right? So in doing so, he inflated numbers to say one thing, and the truth is the truth, right? He did a for you. I have a for you right here. This is the foyer that being did. You could tell it's personal because they, she's saying he did a for you. Like the whole company didn't look into it hilarious bro but the punchline to this will really be hilarious hold on and he reported that we spent this type of money okay right it was 135,000 that's what they reported was spent which I honestly think they spent more let's keep it real they're probably being lenient with this but remember we need Tiffany Hinyard math so let's have the Hinyard math because she's obviously more educated I'm sorry educated than us she is, bro, because she's always trying to teach us something. So clearly, she's more educated than anybody else. So let's continue. Thirty thousand for Kiki, uh, Jay Holiday twenty, and then some other performance which we did not have. But people like to make stuff up on us all the time. And he said it cost in Thorn Township one hundred and thirty-five thousand dollars. All false, fake news. Eight hundred and forty-nine. Don't forget that eight hundred and forty-nine. False. So move on to the next clip. So this is a breakdown of the cost of Thor Township. This is everything that he forged that we gave to Pink. Being the light that is. 32,000 right here was the breakdown right here for what it was that we were supposed to do for Taste of Thor. Next slide. 
$50,000 was for the agency, as you can see, for the performance. But he said that we spent all this money, and that's not the truth, right? Because the truth was set you free. So here we go. Next slide. We spent the... $83,000. Lady, it's, it, it don't even look better. It, it doesn't look that much better. You got me fucked up. You know, and, and we spent $83,000 because look, they, they miscalculated. It's not real. Lady, come on now. What happened to the crew that moved all that fucking equipment out there? What happened to the go-karts that were out there with all them fucking kids? What happened to, what happened to all the bouncy houses and all that? Listen, the shit cost $130,000. It probably cost one hundred and fifty. I mean, somebody with eyes and understanding will understand that it probably cost about one thirty, one fifty. dollars Come on now. We're not idiots now. People were putting numbers like this out weeks ago. And she's going to come out here with some half-assed slideshow with two slides with some numbers up there and expect us to believe it. I'm sorry. I believe the news, which is really hard. I believe the news over Tiffany A. Henyard. Please, come on now. The grand total, $83,000. $83,000 is what North Town should have spent. Little do y'all know, it's less than what Frank Zuccarelli spent for all the tapes that they ever did. But did y'all for you that? Did anybody ask any questions? His last tapes was 160, uh, I'm finding to be the exact number. He spent, he put it up. You even see the lawyer looking back like shit. I know I didn't put that together. Even the lawyer, he's he's looking more alive today. He probably took his Adderall or something. I don't know what he took, but he's looking more he's looking more lively today. But even he's looking back like, eh, Henry, hmm. Uh, I'm finding the exact number. He spent. He put it up. Yeah, he's looking more alive today. He probably took his Adderall or something. I don't know what he took, but he's looking more alive today. But even the lawyer, he's looking back like, eh, Henry, Down, Tosh, hmm. So I'm glad. Thank you, uh, FD Manning, for putting this together so quick. So that's what he spent in 2018. This was we spent in 2024, as you can see. But again, people run stories because they got national platforms. And y'all run fake stories, so I call them fake news all the time, but they never give y'all the truth. So I just want to break it down. So the real cost was 83000 Line Ben said it was 135000 The difference was 51000 right? The difference in percentage was 63% markup that he lied to y'all on the news about to say that we spent $135,000 loss. Um, then, um, what I say? And the other thing I... <laughs> These PowerPoint slides, what are these, bro? What was saved? 20,000, bro, what are these PowerPoint slides? These are like, this is like a C plus for a presentation. She barely passed, bro. This shit is crazy. She's out here really over here trying to educate us and shit. That shit got me messed up. Again, you're putting a slideshow together. We don't believe you all, but what we do believe is that WGN foiled that information. Why would they lie? Just saying. $83,000 would have still sounded bad. You know why it sounds different now? You know why years ago they could have done that? It's because they actually had money in the budget to do that. Tiffany, you're stealing. And you're giving out chickens and hams and letting food rot. Where do you think that food ended up? That food didn't stay good? Come on, bro. Come on. You know why he spent... You, you forgot to put the time dates. That was in 2018. This is 2024, sweetie. This is 2024. A lot has changed due to you in 2024. Crazy ass lady, bro. I wanted to say at the end of that that I know a lot of them will do anything for ratings and not get it. I tell y'all they use my name, my face, my likeness for ticks and views. And I understand that. And I know y'all making money off of it. I told y'all, y'all didn't pay me my percentage. But with that being said, just stop lying on us. I don't like that. As I always say, stop lying on me before I start telling the truth on y'all. And that's what you lying in. That's that. Next, moving on. Let's talk about these events. I always say that the events that okay, so this is pretty much it. There's some begging that goes on. She really begs. She's like a she really be begging out here, bro. It's it's actually sad. You know how she says, and it's sad. You know, and it's sad that we can't come to. You know what's sad for you, Tiffany? It's sad that you have to beg your board and try to pander to the crowd as hard as you fucking can to try to hold on to power, and it's still not even gonna work. 
is still not going to work. You need to worry about jail. Anyways, like like cooking with Frank said, we got to wait till the damn city of Dalton meeting pops off because that's where shit really gets real. All these players over here that she they they different. They're a different breed compared to the Dalton trustees. The, the Dalton trustees are a different breed, okay? And we need to see that shit. But anyways, folks, until then, man, stay inside and stay safe. You know the vibes. Go check out Hannibal. Go check out Cooking with Frank. I'm sure they're about to drop some shit soon. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm out of here.